Good evening. Thanks for being here. The return of sunshine on Vancouver Island and warm temperatures has the fire risk heating up once again. So far, we have been very lucky on the island this year, and last weekend's wet weather gave firefighters just a bit of a reprieve. But all indications point to a return of at least 10 days of hot, dry conditions, and that has the firefighters worried. They're forecasting, uh, the forecasting of that weather is a vital part of the firefighting efforts, both to predict where fires will break out and how to control them once they're burning. Our Mid-Island Bureau Chief Jonathan Bartlett has been following that for us today. He joins us in our Nanaimo newsroom with the tales. Jonathan. Hudson, the Forest Service have their own meteorologists. And of course, it's not as simple as just glancing at an Environment Canada website or watching the weather here on A News. The Coastal Fire Center calls their meteorologist one of their unsung heroes. Vancouver Island so far has come through the summer relatively unscathed when it comes to wildfires. We've been very fortunate so far this year. Uh, the conditions have been ripe for f forest fires, but we haven't seen much lightning, and that's been a key factor in the number of fires being minimal on the coast. But it looks like we're into the start of another long stretch of hot, dry weather, and with that, a high risk for forest fires. We did have some rain last weekend, which uh, had the weather uh, fire danger rating indices drop a little bit. As we moved through to this week, though, it's, it's very hot and dry today, and uh, our weather forecaster is telling us that we're going to see a prolonged period of above normal temperatures for all of Vancouver Island. Firefighters at the Coastal Fire Center in Arrington have a pretty good handle on what to expect in the next couple of weeks because of this man and what he does. His name is Dan Morrison. He's a weather meteorologist and he plays a vital role in predicting where and when a forest fire could break out. So the weather part is uh, one of the more important parts. In other words, if you, if you have a fire burning and it's raining, you're probably not going to go anywhere. If you've got a fire burning and the humidity is dropping, and the winds are picking up, then you might have a problem. Dan is certainly a key player on the team and somebody who's behind the scenes quite often. He's never one uh, that, that's talked about in the media a lot, but Dan is very much uh, a key player in most of the daily decisions that happen here around fire. Using satellite imagery and remote weather sensors placed all over the province, Morrison can not only predict where the next fire could be, but how to best fight the ones burning now. The forecast is one thing. It doesn't necessarily tell you whether you're gonna have fires or not, but when you do have a fire burning, then the weather becomes really important. Uh, it's going to tell you whether that fire is going to behave or not, whether it's going to take off on you or run away and, uh, and uh, become dangerous. And a forest fire can generate its own weather system, only adding to the challenge of detecting and controlling a fire. For instance, the weather we had there a week or so ago will be the outflow winds and all that smoke came out uh, from the interior out to the coast here. Can it also present a challenge to uh, fighting fires or, or detecting fires? Flying. The smoke can get so thick that uh, flying is uh, virtually impossible. Morrison says be ready for more haze and smoke from interior fires that will make his way over in the next few days. Already near the middle of August is not the time to become complacent. Forest fire season is far from over. We're still deep into summer. We're looking at above normal temperatures for the remainder of the weekend and in fact uh, well into the 30s for some parts of Vancouver Island. Certainly not out of the woods at all by any means. The Coastal Fire Centre is asking all of us to be careful these uh, coming days. Campfire bans are still in place. If you see a wildfire, you're asked to call 1-800-663-5555 or star 5555 on a cell phone. Hudson? All right, Jonathan Bartlett, thank you. You're welcome.